Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about the mean value theorem. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. I'm given this problem right here, y equals a negative x squared plus 8x minus 17, and we have to find the value of c that satisfies the mean value theorem on the interval from 3 to 6. Now, I found for you here, we first need to find what 3, f of 3, and f of 6 are. So we have f of 3 here is equal to, and I found out for you, is a negative 2, plug it into our equation, and f of 6 is a negative 5. From there, we have to use the mean value theorem to find our value of c. So, we take the derivative of our function, all right, so we can do that right here, our derivative, negative, uh, 2x. <laughs> I almost messed up the derivative right from the beginning. Not good. Power rule, negative 2x plus 8, and that's our derivative. We set that equal to, using our formula here, f prime, or f of b, f of b, uh, it's called negative 5 minus a negative 2 over I have b minus a, 6 minus a 3. Okay? From there, we need to simplify this. We have negative 2x plus 8, and negative 5 minus a negative 2 is like plus a positive 2, and we're subtracting 6 minus 3, and so this comes out to be a negative 3 over a 3. So negative 2x here plus 8 equals negative 3 over 3, which is a negative 1, and we're solving for x. Subtracting the 8 to both sides, pretty easy here, and negative 2x equals a negative 9. Divide both sides by a negative 2, and x equals a positive 9 halves. And so we need to find our value for c. Now 9 halves is within our uh, range here in a sense, uh, or interval from 3 to 6. And so our c value here is just 9 halves. And that is a value of c that satisfies the mean value theorem. I hope this video is helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.